Lulu take off? Uh, yeah. She's too thrilled about us being here, though. Well, I'll talk to her about it. Hey, and by the way, now that I know you're a cop, I'm cool with you dating my sister. Just as long as you treat her good, obviously, and do everything you can to keep her safe. Right, you know, Lulu's a great girl. Although I am not too sure how much she really likes me yet. Really? <laughs> Just have to wait and see. All right, let's get down to business. Yeah. I got a call back from Paris. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Really, that fast? They got anything we can use? Well, over the last five years, there have been a, a string of unsolved murders, duplicating staged crime scenes from Franco's art. The police suspect some sort of copycat killer. So wait, what, uh, the artwork comes out first, and then the killing, or is it the other way around? No, Franco creates the crime scenes in his art. And then later on, the, the real crime takes place. Somebody dies, and the body is posed the exact same way that Franco does it in his art. Wow. Yeah. We are dealing with one sick puppy here. The darkly focused one seemed deeply insulted. Stone Cold might remember how just the other day I was conveying to him that an artist of Franco's renown might be extremely sensitive. Hey, Franco knows that Michael killed Claudia, and he told me that to force my hand. He wants me to come after him. Breaking and entering into a world-famous artist studio doesn't seem like such a good idea. Well, Franco never asked my permission to take weird photos of me and send them to people that I know, and just because I had sex with him doesn't give him the right they could end up on display in a gallery somewhere. No, no, I mean, I mean, they won't because I'm gonna insist that he destroy all of them. He's gonna delete them from his camera, tear up the prints, whatever. Open. Hello? Uh, Franco, it's, it's, it's Maxie from the other night. unsolved murders. Each crime scene mimics one of Franco's works. Okay, so Franco creates pieces that show violent crime scenes. Those scenes become reality, life imitating art. Yeah, it's not a huge leap to think that Franco could be a serial killer. Franco saw me and Sam arrive at the cabin when Claudia died, and he claims that he saw Michael kneeling over Claudia's body. But doesn't he realize that that's a confession that could get him eliminated? Franco wants to make sure that I take him very seriously. For some reason, it's important to him. He's challenging him. Yeah, he actually wants me to come after him so he can prove he's better than me. Well, that's disturbing. Well, well, the more dangerous Franco thinks Jason is, the more important it is for him to beat him in his own game. <sighs> yes, yeah, so I have to find out what kind of proof he has against Michael. Yeah, we need any, any sort of evidence, photographs, whatever, that could have been taken from the cabin, and he could have left it with someone to be opened in the event of his death. I received... Uh, another photo that I know was taken by Franco, and I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't want to do this, but I really need to know if this photo came from the same camera as the picture of Claudia. before this gets any weirder. This isn't weird, this is artistic and weird. Franco likes to throw people off balance. You're seriously gonna stand here and tell me that this does not creep you out. Okay, look, the decor could use a little work. Mm -hmm. I'll give you that. But calling the cops on Franco isn't gonna get us what we came here for. Oh, so you're just gonna ask him to destroy a whole bunch of pictures of you and while he's at it, do a crimson photo shoot. Wow, you don't expect much at all, do you? Well, I won't be getting either unless I ask first. about Jason, which makes sense because Franco likes to use crime as a subject for his art, and 
there's not a bigger criminal out there than Jason. Oh my God, Maxie, he's obsessed. No, no, an, an artist needs to have a certain sort of d detachment from his work. Yeah, his sanity is clearly detached from reality. <gasps> Let's walk through this one more time just to see what we actually have. You busted Franco. 2003, uh, he was a tagger, a nobody. Uh, the bust happened half a block from a major crime scene. Cut to six years later, the image of that original crime scene shows up on display in an art gallery. Franco has a prior arrest. The booking number is CO77X. That same number gets spray painted on the street where Joey Limbo was murdered. Joey Limbo's throat is crushed, his body's posed, which we now know is the signature of Franco's artwork. I mean, I don't, I don't see what else we need. I just, I, I don't see how we can get a warrant without blowing your cover. You know, and even, even if we got around that, there's no forensics tying Franco to Joey's murder. And then there's the added complication that Joey was already bleeding from a gunshot wound allegedly inflicted by Jason Morgan. All right, so how do we come up with something to make this all stick? Well, I'll contact the Paris police about the Brooklyn bust. I'll see if CO77X has turned up in proximity to any of their unsolved murders. I'll also ask them to keep a watch on Franco's movements in France. Beyond that, if we don't have any more solid evidence, this case could be stuck in neutral. I fear Max Mister may have been coerced into taking that photo. Maxie never said she was threatened. How long have you two been privy to this information? I got it the day after the art show. She begged us not to show you Spinelli. The last thing she wants to do is hurt you. I'm all too aware of what drives Max Mister's guilt. Whatever's going on with you guys, Spinelli, I'm sorry. There are bigger dragons to slay than my romantic tribulations. The darkly focused one's mind appears to pose a real threat. I stand ready to assist in any way I can. Okay, uh, Franco has been studying me and planning for months, so now we need to figure out a way to catch up to him. Obviously, this guy is gifted at playing mind games because he knew the second he dropped the bomb on Jason about Michael killing Claudia that he had him right where he wanted him. Well, perhaps we can figure out what he was planning to do with that information follow the money. I mean, that's that's where we start any investigation. Just follow the money. Yeah, we need to know where Franco's been, what he's bought, who he's talked to, okay? Okay, I'll again look into his bank records and phone records. Why don't you track his agent, too, Jillian Carlisle? I, I, I guarantee you, with the kind of money this guy brings in, she's never said no to him. Who are you and why are you here? We're looking for Franco. Who are you? Someone with a key. I didn't need to break into Franco's studio. You're Jillian Carlisle. I recognize your voice. We've talked on the phone before. I never thought I would meet you in person. Look, if you're calling Franco, could you please tell him that Maxie needs to speak with him? Yeah, Maxie who? I'm sure the police will want to know. So you should have let me call Lucky. No, no, I, I, I'm Maxie Jones. I work for uh, Crimson Magazine. We've actually spoke on the phone about a dozen times. This is my coworker, Lulu Spencer, and we, we just came by to have a little chat with Franco. No, 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 don't hang up. I want to... It's inappropriate for you to be here. Well, the, the door was unlocked, and I have a personal relationship with Franco. If that were true, you'd know that Franco's gone back to Paris. Look, the fact that your magazine sponsored my client's show does not give you free reign to break into his studio. So I'm warning you, back off, or I'll be forced to tell Kate Howard about your behavior. Whoa, hey, uh, lady, sorry. Um, Maxie has some unfinished business with Franco, so if you want to start this, you'll actually be on the losing end of a very public battle. Lulu, it's Howard. all right, you know what? I don't want any more trouble. We're gonna go. Yeah.